today I'm going to talk about Android phones. Uh, as you could read in the news, Apple and Samsung were kind of fighting again and Apple won the case and you know the judge decided that old Android phones from Samsung may not be sold anymore. You know, but in fact, this goes for all the old phones because they, they run the operating system called Android. And um, there is a problem with older phones, S3, S2, everything below that. You know, still very beautiful phones to see the Note 1, Note 2. You know, these, these things are kind of old already and they have uh, kind of leaks and problems. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix, overcome that and still use your old device. You must know though that you must understand that you cannot do very uh, high privacy risk stuff with it such as putting in the pin code of your bank you know and things like that you should even be more careful i don't do banking with my computer none of my computers you know i still get them paper uh, every week you know saying you know my bank really hates me they want me to you know do internet banking but i just don't want it and i know why i don't want it you understand but if you are doing it with your phone then maybe you should not do it with your phone anymore and then get a good device you know but um if you still want to use that device that older device such as this tablet that we're gonna scan in this video because I got this tablet even though I got it for only 15 bucks you know and uh, even though I updated from gingerbread to Android 4 ICS um, I still don't know what this software is having if I don't do a scan and see for my eyes and for myself what is in there and um, if there are stuff in there how we can kind of block it so these things cannot go and have our own little life in our tablets you know doing all sorts of crazy things spying on you uh, giving out your information and I don't even know what they all do remember this uh, uh, Packard Bell tablet the one with the crack screen that we updated with Acer firmware well how safe would it be to use this thing and how clean is it remember that a while ago i made a video of how to check and scan your android version and also even your blue stacks running on your pc could be scanned as i showed in that video um I think we should do the same with this tablet because in fact this tablet is also having some kind of apps that I in fact blocked. So um, as you know with CM security we can kind of block these apps you know we can kind of uh, put them away and just see if they are there. So let's jump into the tablet and see how many viruses and spyware adware we will find. Okie doke, welcome back. This is the tablet. Uh, as you can see, it does not look like an Android tablet because I gifted it uh, the Pair, uh, iPair OS theme. I, I used that uh, kind of a long time already. I also bought it one day. So in fact, I love it on all my tablets. But this is CM security. We're gonna boot it up. I think it wants to be in portrait mode. Of course, using the egg box as our beautiful stand. Uh, CM security is not responding. Wait. Okay, so we're gonna give it a scan. Wow, look at that. It found 33 browsing history entries. Uh, other websites uh, brought anywhere system vulnerability fake ID exploit system vulnerability okay so what we're gonna do uh, seven apps with privacy issues this is the first thing we're gonna hit protect so uh, protect 11 I think we should also protect these we just protect them all. Okay, protect system. Um, and then you see, we must put a password, but in fact, I don't want to do that. 
I really don't want to do that. Or maybe we should. Maybe we should do that. That is to lock the app, sir. Uh, let me see. I don't want to lock YouTube. I don't want to lock my settings. Oh yeah, but maybe these should be locked. Protect. We're just gonna give it a lock like this. Is that good? Confirm. Oh then, tux, tux. Yeah, I'm not so smart with these things. When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is July 18th. Done. Alrighty, so done. So that's what we did and then we resolve all. And we optimize 67 megabyte was uh, cleared. <coughs> I don't know what this is. We go back. Uh, not now. I first want to do another scan. Zero privacy, zero junk, zero no nothing, man. This is like very, very beautiful. I think what this is check safety ah okay so yeah i think now we're kind of safe peeps i also uh, got the other one this is the the one for blue stacks i don't think it will run on this uh, tablet because it's in fact not for this tablet let's scan it let's see if it also works finding zero 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 oh 15 junk what is this 15 megabyte junk files cache junk clean 15 megabyte so as you could see we could also do it with the one for intel processors uh not now i'll read you later but this is the app peeps uh, don't forget to scan your phone if you're on some Samsung S3 or S2 or S4 or any phone before um, 2013 and even phones after 2013. Please scan them because as you can see many privacy issues and many uh, little uh, thingies that you know could kind of harm your privacy. Hope that this uh, kind of helped out. I find the tablet uh, way more uh, secure now. It's also been released for, for uh, almost 56 megabyte of junk rubbish that was on it. So this app also cleans it. Don't forget it peeps, it's called CM Security. Uh, once in a while, you know, when I get a new device, I do a scan with CM Security. I install CM Security on the device and then uh, we just uh, have a clean device that we can work on um, uh, locking the apps is uh, wisely because in fact um, malware etc and certain apps they you know want to do certain stuff but then they will need your password and they have no access to to the system so in fact it's very good to uh, in this way still lock uh, the vulnerable parts in android in this way so we can still use our older devices peeps if this video was kind of helpful like subscribe and see you in my next video again bye